Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of getting started. This video provides information on the structure of the CEREC software interface and on the handling process in the phase and step menus. First of all, we're going to take a look at the system menu. To do this, we click on the orange arrow at the top left. Among other items, the system menu contains the submenus for saving a case, importing or exporting cases, the license manager, the hardware and software configuration options, and the option for exiting the software. Simply move the mouse back to the main window to close the system menu. You will see the phase bar in the upper part of the CEREC software user interface. The workflow is divided into five phases in the CEREC software. These are Administration, Acquisition, Model, Design, and Manufacture. The active phase is always highlighted in orange. The phases must be processed chronologically. However, you can return to previous phases at any time in order to make retrospective changes. Each phase is in turn divided into steps. They are shown in the step menu at the bottom edge of the screen. The step menu changes depending on the phase in which the restoration is located. You can only see the mandatory steps here now. Click the button on the left of the step menu to also show and select the optional steps. The last display selected is saved for all future patient cases and or restorations. All steps are only displayed with a symbol, and only the step in which you are located also displays information on the relevant function. To learn more about the function of the different steps, move the cursor to the relevant symbol and an additional window opens. The step menu can be minimized as an option. Since the mandatory step Draw Preparation Margin has not yet been started, this step appears with a transparent bar. In our case, the preparation margin must be determined for two restorations. The preparation margin for the restoration on 3.5 has been determined and the restoration appears on the object bar with a green check mark as a result. You also receive a message in the step menu that the step has not yet been completed as the preparation margin has not yet been determined for the second restoration. You can see this on the bar with only half of it highlighted in orange. With multiple restorations, you can move back and forth between the restorations by clicking on the symbol. The step is highlighted in green and all restorations have a green check mark once the second preparation margin has also been determined. In particular with the single tooth restoration indications, such as inlays, onlays, crowns, and veneers, the restoration type is detected automatically by the software once the preparation margin has been determined. Our case involves two crowns. Next, we switch to the subsequent phase, which is the design phase, by clicking on the double arrow. The page palette offers you various functions depending on the current step. Clicking on one of the options also opens a side window for example, the Tool menu. The tools most often used appear first, and you can access the entire range through an additional click. Multiple windows can also be opened at the same time in order to edit the restoration. The side windows can be moved for optimum positioning on the screen. To do this, Hold the left mouse button down on the window title and move it to the desired position. The CEREC software makes a note of this setting for subsequent restorations. Click on Minimize as required to close the side window. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.